hi greetings to all there is currently no vaccine to prevent coronavirus disease the virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person hence the best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus so better stay inside your home okay today i will discuss about divergence and scale of vector fields and its physical significance in vector calculus divergence is a vector operator that operates on a vector field producing a scalar field giving the quantity of the vector field source at each point see the figures in the first figure the divergence of the above vector field is positive since the flow is expanding in the second figure the divergence of the vector field is negative since there is a compression as it moves towards the origin in the third case there is no expansion or compression of flux so divergence is zero as an example consider air as it is heated or cooled the velocity of the air at each point defines a vector field while air is heated in a region it expands in all directions and thus the velocity field points outward from that region the divergence of the velocity field in that region would thus have a positive value while the air is cooled and thus contracting the divergence of the velocity has a negative value divergence operates on a vector field and makes a scalar quantity that is a measure of how much the vectors are diverging okay consider a vector field a where a is equal to ax i plus a y j plus a z k then divergence of a is equal to i into dou by dou x plus j into dou by dou y plus k into dou by dou z into not into dot a x i plus a y j plus a z k that is equal to do a x by do x plus do a y by do y plus do a z by do z where a x a y a z are the components of vectors in a in the x y and z directions respectively okay it is to be noted that the divergence of a vector quantity is a scalar quantity see next the physical significance of divergence as the name indicates the divergence of a vector tells us how much the vector diverges from a point if the vector diverges from the point p the divergence will be positive if the vector flowing into the point p then the divergence will be negative divergence is a local measure of its outgoingness the extent to which there is more of the field vector is exit, exiting a small region of space than entering it a point at which the flux is outgoing has positive divergence and is often called a source of the field a point at which the flux is directed inward has negative divergence and is often called a sink of the field the greater the flux of the field through a small surface enclosing a given point the greater the value of divergence at that point a point at which there is zero flux through an enclosing surface has zero divergence as i mentioned earlier the divergence of a vector field is often illustrated using the example of the velocity field of a gas a moving gas has a velocity at each point which can be represented by a vector so the velocity of the gas forms a vector field if a gas is heated it will expand this will cause a net motion of gas particles outward in all directions any closed surface in the gas will enclose gas which is expanding so there will be an outward flux of gas through the surface so 
the velocity field will have positive divergence everywhere similarly if the gas is cooled it will contract there will be more room for gas particles in any volume so the external pressure of the fluid will cause a net flow of gas volume inward through any closed surface therefore the velocity field has negative divergence everywhere next curl of a vector field in vector calculus the curl is a vector operator that describes the infinitesimal rotation of a vector field in three dimensional space at every point in the field the curl of that point is represented by a vector curl gives an idea of how much the vector quantity is curling or twisting around a point and it is represented by del cross a see let's see the uh, definition the curl of a vector function a where a is equal to ax i plus ay j plus a z k then curl a is equal to del cross a is equal to i into dou by dou x plus j into dou by dou y plus k into dou by dou z cross ax i plus ay j plus a z k that is equal to i into dou e z by dou y minus dou a y by dou z plus j into dou a x by dou z minus dou a z by dou x plus k into dou a y by dou x minus dou a x by dou y okay uh, you can do it by yourself also you know the relations correct i cross j is equal to k and i cross i is equal to zero those kind of relations i think you have studied in your mathematics class also one can find k l a by finding the determinant del cross a is equal to determinant of i j k dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z a x a y a z is to find the determinant then you can find easily find this uh, find the above relation okay and direction of KL A is given by the right hand row okay and next we can see the uh, physical significance of KL the KL of a vector field gives the measure of the tendency for the vector field to curl or circle around a point let us consider water draining down the sink it will curl before draining out if one can plot this rotation flow of water as vectors and measure it that will produce the curl okay suppose the vector field describes the velocity field of a fluid flow and a small ball is located within the fluid also the center of the ball being fixed at a certain point if the fluid flowing past it will make the ball rotate the rotation axis points in the direction of the curl of the field at the center of the ball okay and if del cross a is equal to zero which means that there is no rotation the curl of electrostatic field is zero that is del cross e is equal to zero you will uh, study about it okay the following relations of curl and divergence are useful for solving physics problem uh, that's that is del dot del del a is equal to del square a and del cross del a is equal to zero del dot del cross a is equal to zero that is divergence of a curl is zero okay that remember that point and next relation is last relation is del cross del cross a is equal to del of del dot a minus del square a okay this is your homework please write in your notebook these are the questions what do you mean by divergence of a vector field write the physical significance of divergence and second what do you mean by curl of a vector field write the physical significance of so this is the end of the story thank you